Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and I have got another Christmassy design for you today. Now this is my bar humbug Christmas design and if you would like to see how I created it then please keep watching. So I'm working on my other Elena hand for this set and I've actually already done my thin clear base uh, but I'm using Gems Acrylic, I have got Crystal Clear, I am also using Peachy Peach, uh, one of my favourite cover powders, I have also got Eve, the perfect black acrylic, the matching gel polish is perfect too. And for sparkle and glitter in this set, I have got the Nail Team Flash Glitters in Flint. This is a nice black and silver. And I've got Humbug from Scarlet Center. I absolutely love this glitter. I think it's too pretty to be a bar humbug kind of glitter. So as I said, I'd already done my thin clear base off camera, but I did do it as I normally do and I'm going in now with that beautiful humbug glitter so it is sort of a matte black and white mix with some holographic silver in it it is really pretty and I'm just doing a little bit around the cuticle on the index finger and I'll also do it on the pinky and then on the ring finger I'm doing a full nail of that glitter so get in a nice neat cuticle line to start off with and then I will start adding more glitter to get full coverage. These are very short nails for me. Uh, I did have a request to do some more salon length so I am trying to. Um, I definitely need to do shorter nails more often I because I found it so fiddly but um, that's probably because I don't do it very often. So I'm just pushing the glitter around to get nice full coverage uh, just going in with little beads uh, until the nail is fully covered and then I would do exactly what I did on the index finger on the pinky and just a little line of that glitter around the cuticle uh, so hopefully you can guess what I'm going to be doing well you've already seen the nails so you know what I'm going to be doing but I'm going to do that my sort of upside down ombre where the glitter pops out from underneath the acrylic. Uh, I love that look and I thought it'd be really nice on this design. So just getting that glitter in place only needed a little bit and then I did wash over it with some clear acrylic and now I'm going in with that peachy peach to do a reverse smile line. I only needed a little bead for this because they are such dinky nails and I only wanted to go as far as where that glitter started just to feather and overlap slightly getting the shape of my smile line and then all the structure is going to come when I encapsulate in clear because I needed to encapsulate that glitter as well so shaped my smile line and now I'm just going to leave that to set and I'm going to do exactly the same on the pinky so you can see I place my bead roughly where I want the smile line blended it back just to the edge of that glitter and now I'm using the sides of my brush just to shape that smile line make sure it's nice and even all the way around and using the belly of the brush to pat it down from the top so I've got the same height all the way to be honest I faffed a little bit but pff, wouldn't be a me video if there wasn't a little bit of faffing so you can see I'm just really shaping that smile line I'm really really shaping that smile line I'm I'm just doing the same thing over and over and then I'm going to come in with a small bead of crystal clear and I'm going to encapsulate the glitter and I'm going to build the apex with this I'm just following the shape of that smile line and trying to make it even all the way around so I haven't got an uneven wall or height. It doesn't matter too much because I can do the work with the file as well but do as much with the brush as you can. I did the same on the pinky and I also encapsulated 
that um, ring finger full glitter nail here. Now I did most of the filing off camera but I just finished it off just sharpening it up with my willow metal file it is great for getting in those wings of these uh, smile lines and really crisping them up so i did that on both the index finger and the pinky and now i'm going in all the way round up into those wings with eve the blackest of blacks uh, i'm just painting this on uh because i want to add a little bit of glitter on top so i don't want to um, have too much so I file away the glitter and I'm just tidying it up as I go around the smile line because if it's a bit wonk if it's a bit uh, uneven it'll make that smile line look wonky and then exactly the same on the pinky so going in with quite small beads of Eve so that I can get right up into those wings all the way around that smile line just painting it to the end and then I'll just leave it to set slightly sorry that's my cat sneezing if you can hear it um, and then I'll leave it to set ever so slightly before going in with some glitter it doesn't matter too much if you get any uh, black on that nail bed because it will all file away but I do like to tidy up as I go while that's setting on the ring middle finger middle finger couldn't tell on the middle finger i'm just going to do a full nail of eve it is so pigmented you can really just paint it on i didn't worry too much about that first bead because i was focusing on the cuticle but here i've added just one more bead and look at the coverage and the pigment to it a little bit more to make sure i've got the um full coverage all over and now I'm going in with that beautiful flint flash glitter it is so pretty I've just picked up the smallest amount it's a very very fine glitter so a little goes a really long way and I really wouldn't recommend sneezing around this one I've just gone around that smile line I didn't want to cover it completely I just wanted a little bit and then on the middle finger yeah it is middle finger um I'm just feathering it down from the cuticle and then finishing off the pinky with a touch of that glitter on my smile line too or on my tip should I say and once I'm happy with that we're going to leave all of that glitter to set in place and then I need to encapsulate just the tips of those two smile lines as you can see and that full nail and then I will file them to shape and we'll be ready to finish this design off. So here they are, they are all filed to shape. They are already looking lovely, I think anyway. I'm gonna give them a good clean over. And this is another one of those designs where you could leave it as is. It's really nice and actually this is quite a nice design any time of year, not just at Christmas. But I just wanted to add a little bit of detail to that middle black finger. Um, but again, this is sort of an optional step. So I'm just doubly cleaning, making sure I've got no dust fluff bits or pieces on these nails. And now I picked out one of my Dixie plates, stamping plates, and I'm going for this sort of jumpery design. Um, I, don't, I haven't done much stamping recently. Uh, but I do love stamping so I thought I'd get a little bit in over Christmas. I've got the white perfect nails stamping polish so I'm going to just apply a line of that stamping polish above the image I've chosen um, then give it a quick swipe with the scraper and then roll my clear stamper over top to pick that image up. There it is perfect pick up first time. I still got it. And then I'm going to line it up over top of that nail where I want the image and then push down and rock side to side, backwards and forwards, so it completely transfers onto the nail. And there it is. I used a little orange stick just to clean up around the nail. Uh, if you're working on an actual person, you could put down some latex or 
whatever to protect the nail or just go in with a little micro swab and some acetone to clean up before you finish the nails off and that's what i'm doing now here is tina top it is still tina top it's just a slightly bigger bottle of tina top um Gemma couldn't get the bigger bottles in white so the bigger bottles are black I am just going to top coat all of these nails, pop them in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds and they are done. If you were working on actual nails, I would always double top coat stamping. Um, so I would do a second top coat, but on these practice hands, no, it's not necessary. So here's my bar humbug nail design all finished i absolutely love it i think it's so pretty this is one i would definitely wear at christmas um i think it's one my sister might actually wear as well but we are done another christmas design done and another day closer to the big day so please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already please click subscribe check out the description box for product details and links and don't forget if you're shopping at the nail team use Helen5 for 5% off. That's it from me today and I will see you again soon. Bye. Mwah.